Hey everyone, welcome back to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Ah. Good morning everyone. I have not been up long, so forgive my voice and I'm drinking my coffee. And I thought we'd play some more Put or Pioneers of Olive Town. So many people called it Put since it's been out, so. Hope everyone is doing well this morning. Top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Today I thought it'd be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Unfortunately, I'm not what you call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nigel, our local carpenter. Good morning, Riley. My specialty is housing and furniture, you see, but I know enough about materials to teach you a thing or two. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful items, uh, useful things with them. You could turn them into a fence for livestock, for one thing. If you're gonna run a farm, I'd say that's a pretty good use, eh? Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilize your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. <clears throat> Might as well teach you about makers while I'm here. See, makers can process your raw materials into new materials entirely. Real useful tools, makers. Once you get your hands on them, I'm sure you'll figure, figure, <laughs> figure out even better things to craft. One thing to keep in mind when using a maker, though, They'll take time to process your materials. Figured I'd let you know. Splendid explanation from Nigel. Quite easy to follow, don't you think? Now how will you use your newfound knowledge? That, of course, will be entirely up to you. For now, I should be heading home. Until tomorrow. Okay, please go away. <laughs> okay. Could we please just play? Thank you very much. Okay, so we need where, why? Um, I was like, why is my, what? No, go back. Um, I don't know why that was down there. But anyway. Water, water, water. Oh, there's something else that I wanted. Um, until our storage expands, um, we kind of have to be careful about how much stuff we put in. Um, You want to take pictures. You want to get at least one of them in the blue. Okay. We got a picture. Guys, if you don't have Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, I totally recommend it. It is, um, no, um, it is such a good game. It is such a good game, so, um, I totally recommend it. Okay. Come on out, Nugget. Let's see if we got an egg today. We did, we got our first egg. Ta-da! <coughs> okay, so we have five, and I think we need 15. 
Yeah, we need 15. Okay. So I think we're going to have to spend our time getting clearing out some more wood today. Um, Also, it helps to, to see what all is around it, to have a lot of this clear. And then I also kind of want to see, um, we need to get our level up on our mining as well. Oh, got an iron ore. Because to upgrade any of our tools, we're going to need some iron. I want to see if yeah we can't get an ingot there's the ingot maker um you need tip you oh I um, didn't mean to do that oh my god calm down <laughs> um yeah you need 10 10 iron in order to do that. So we'll end up having to go in the mine, but seriously, we need to get more wood so we can get the bridge over to the other side. do we need to meet is the question. Let's see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We met all the folks from across the way. Um, people, three people, four people, five people. What? How could we possibly have missed that many people? Seriously. How? 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 I do not know how we could have missed that many people. Love it. I'm a world traveler in such in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles on my discoveries. Do let me know if you happen upon any olive town delicacies. 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> the bistro. Ah, we've not met her yet. Uh, hello. Hello. Misaki, I have heard of you. You moved to this town recently, right? The mayor, Victor, announced the news to everyone. I'm Misaki. I run the bistro. Do drop by sometime. Be my pr pleasure to serve you. Thank you. Um, I know somebody else we have not met yet. Um, oh, we've already met you. Hmm. Where is the woman who's always at the front register? She's not been there twice now. Hmm. Okay. Because I know we we have not met her yet. I've met both of them. Um, the flower shop. Well, we met him. Oh, they're outside. They're outside watering. <laughs> Hi. Lynn. Yes, may I ask who you are? Your name is Riley. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. My name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. Okay. Um, I already met Cindy. Uh. Oh, that's right. I already met. Um, uh, yeah, I already met you too. I'm sorry. Um, ugh. Let's go check the board to see if we achieved anything else. I don't think we have, but. Oh, we have. Fencing, money, money, money. Money, money, and money. All right. I'm going to need an extra sardine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go fishing yet. <laughs> um... Not loud. Yeah, there's not really anything over there right now. I was going to see if the fox was there. Yeah, I've already met anybody, everybody in the museum. Okay, I'm getting to be at a loss here. Um, Eight a.m. to six p.m. All right, well. Yeah, where is she? Does she live here somewhere? I don't know, but I know I have not met her yet. I just don't know where she is. There's a woman that stands at the counter. I cannot remember her name. Those are tourists. Um, I met all of them when they were eating dinner, so I don't know who else I have left. Um, I wonder if we should buy some more seeds since we have some money. Oh, and they must be closed today. Well, okay, fine. I've already met them. Um, okay, fine. Well, then I won't buy seeds today. Yeah, Tuesday. So different shops have different days that they're closed. They're not all the same. I want to say maybe. Where's your brother or whoever that is? There's another guy that works at this shop too. I don't know where they are. Well, we're not doing very good meeting people we haven't met yet. There she is. Mm. 
wrong person. Hi there. Hello, Riley. I'm Sally. I run the cafe. Have some coffee. I make a mean cup of joe, if I do say so myself. That was the person I hadn't met yet. That I kept trying to find. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, trying to find people is like crazy. Okay. Yeah, so... There's one, two, three, four. How is there four more people? How? How? That's the groceries, but he's here alone, I think, isn't he? I don't think there's anybody but him in here. Love it was in there, but I mean. the bistro. I already met both of them. Okay, well then we'll try again tomorrow. Because I'm not sure at this point. Unless I meet, miss some people on the other islands that we went to in the last episode, which is always possible. I mean, that's totally always possible. Um... Oh my gosh, seriously. I would get nine. Really wanted to get, um, we could, uh, yep. Controls are a bit touchy. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Okay, stop. Um, we could do another, another lumber maker if we had more wood. We need more wood. Don't know if we'll be able to get that many right now. Our energy level is getting a little low. It is nice to have more than one going, especially when you start leveling up and you start Cutting down different kinds of trees. Oh, I think we are out of inventory space. Um, Let's do this because it'll be worth it to get another one going. The nice thing is once you get stuff situated, oh. oh, you need 20. Never mind. Um, let's go sell. <clears throat> I like to keep a little bit of everything, however, um, at the beginning, you just need money. Just kind of like any other game. However, I will not get rid of um, these things because you need them to craft with. Um, now, the grass, you can get in abundance, but you're still going to need them. And we can make some money. So, I think that's going to be it for this day because... We just don't have any energy left. We'll pick up those things and sell those. And you can see below, 
they're only worth 10, 10 gold each. But hey, 10 gold each is 10 gold each. That's 20 bucks. So we'll do it. <coughs> Let's go to sleep. See who's going to bother us in the morning. <laughs> See, I told you. I hope the tent life is treating you well. It seems to me like you're getting used to it, in fact. Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I wanted to teach you about home expansions. Your home or tent can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he's our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house into something special. <clears throat> You can cook your own meals, take a bath to relax after a hard day, hard day's work. To do all that, however, you need to upgrade your tent to a log cabin, so it might be a good idea to prioritize an upgrade. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to do that, but that's going to take some money and materials, like you said. No, no. So let me take just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, we've got enough to repair the bridge. Um, and I believe it happens overnight, so it's not like it's gonna happen today. Um, materials. You rain? <clears throat> oh, it's the bridge you want fixed, is it? Hmm, may take some time. Well, let's get these things started. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> and now there's like a, a roadblock sign there. That means we're going to be getting it updated. So that's awesome. See our chicky poo? if you've got an egg. Um, we need to buy some seeds today and get some more stuff planted. Um, oh, as I say, I keep messing it. Erg. I really need to make a storage chest, but I don't think we can yet. Um, so you can view the details and it'll tell you what kind of lumber you need and you just need five lumber, so. Um, could you stop? Oh, let me try. Um, oh, did I see we can make an ingot maker now? We can. So we need five lumber to do that. Do we have any wood? We've got four wood. I just kind of set everything over here out of the way at first, and then I, um, then I go back and move everything around where I want it, because right now, you have limited space because the bridge isn't built, um, you, you know, you just, you get to the point where you'll know, okay, I need to move some stuff around, start making it look more organized, more nice. And you'll kind of have a better idea where you want to put stuff.
So we need to get more lumber today and we need to plant more, um, more vegetables and stuff. So all right. I want to buy goods. So you can buy materials, you can buy furniture, but we don't have a house yet. And once you get to the cooking part, um, once you get a house and you get a kitchen and you get to the cooking part, there are different achievements and stuff for cooking stuff, different stuff. And so you'll want things that's available in spring. Like this is... This, cause this one can be sewed in spring, summer, and winter. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, all year round. Turnips is only in the spring, but we've already got some planted. Um, cucumbers is in spring, but only spring. So, let's get... Let's get sex. Um, onions is only is see it's spring and summer, so we'll wait on that. Spring, summer, and autumn. In it's nice to grow some fodder at first, just because you're gonna need it for the chicky. Once the bridge is open uh, across the way is also a cow. Um, spring, summer, and autumn. Wheat seedlings, rice seedlings, coffee. We're going to get one of those. Um, that's in spring. <clears throat> and I think our backpack's full. Let's go, speaking of backpacks, you can buy a backpack upgrade. I believe... Nigel, are you closed today? Closed on Wednesdays. Okay, fine. There's the other person we have not met yet that no. works there. Yes, Lars. Big Brother Clem, right. Yep, okay. Thank goodness. Okay, so we've got another one down that we've met. Uh, that's the one I had been looking for that I knew we had not met yet. Now, beyond that, not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm not real worried about it, so that's fine. Oh. Oh, that's right. You have to use a hammer. Why? I don't know, but you do. If it's a sapling. Um, we need to clear out some of this grass. Because we need to be planting. We need to make some more, um, we need to till some more soil. And I want to be able to see. We need some more wood anyway. Uh, I can't see what I'm doing. At least I can see a little bit, you know. Okay, so we want to go over here and um, <clears throat> I want to start making. Well, I'll do that later. Let's just make another plot kind of thing where we can plant six seeds. No. Um, I don't remember what it is. I think it's this. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what it is. To get rid of a plot that you do. Boo boo. A boo boo. So we need to go see Nigel tomorrow to see if we can do a backpack upgrade. I don't remember how much it cost. Oh, I thought I had more seeds than that. Well, we'll just put the fodder here. Um. <clears throat> kind of uneven. I thought I had bought more. Please stop. I thought I had bought more seats than that, but apparently I did not. I hate when I uh, water the same thing. And this is every farming game I've ever played in my entire life. <laughs> I water the same plot more than once. Or I water the grass instead of the plot. I mean, that's just normal for me. I'd say I just ran right over that. Okay, fine. Um, okay, hold on. Hold, hold up. Okay. We need one more. We need one more to make the storage. Um, so that'll be good. Because we need a storage badly. Um... We could plant this right there, get that out of our backpack. I don't really have anything to sell, but here's another thing that you can do. Like, maybe we don't need our camera right now, so we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna put it in our tool bag. And that just kind of gets it out of our inventory for right now. Maybe we don't need our water and can right now, so we're gonna put that in our tool bag. You see what I'm saying? So that makes it a little bit easier. Gives you a little bit of extra space. So we're gonna go in the mine. Check that out just a little bit. This will help get our mining level up also, which is, you definitely need to do. Cause there's three mines in total. This is just the first one and um, The other two can get a little tougher. Um, oh my. Now if you go in your menu, <clears throat> um, yeah, you go right here, you can see what your levels are and how far you are to the next level or to level up. So if you see mining, we're a little over halfway. Um, reaping, we're a little over halfway. Field work. Um, and it tells you, like field work, use the hoe. So that's using the hoe. Animal care. We haven't we don't have any livestock to do that with yet um reaping is just getting the grass cutting the grass logging mining is pretty self-explanatory orchard is planting plant seedlings and harvesting tree crops so that takes a while so just that's how you can see where your levels are and where you're at with them you can do that at any given time 
Now in order to get this, you have to use, I believe it's your hoe. Yep. You always kind of want to look on the walls to see if there's any ore veins because you get more ore that way. If there is some. And you're going to get a lot of rock, which is fine. anything over here this first mine um, isn't as big there are like still a lot of floors but Yeah, we're gonna have to really start watching our levels here. I mean, our hearts, because um, we don't want to pass out. And like a lot of games, if you pass out, I don't believe you lose money, but do you wake up with way less energy, like way less? So you have to be very careful. All right, we leveled up on mining. o'clock in the afternoon which isn't a big deal but you also want to watch your time at night because I want to say it's one or two o'clock in the morning you'll pass out I just kind of wanted to get a bang but I'm not seeing any but they're usually in the further levels oh you made it all the way down here you're pretty good as a reward I'll give you a present Keep up the hard work, you're doing great. Magma Sprite, okay. We obtain white opal, which you need. So you wanna keep that, don't sell it. All right, I think we're gonna be done. So we made it down to level 10. I'm gonna say there's 30 levels. And there is a, an achievement, I think, for going down to the 30th. I believe. Um, yeah, we made it to mining level three. Oh, we need one more. Craft some more of those. I think we can craft, yeah. You need five to make one, so we'll get one going. That's all we can do for now. Um, <clears throat> once we get one more plank, then we'll be able to make a storage. So that's gonna be, we're just gonna go ahead and go to bed. It'll speed that up a little bit to do that. Okay. Yay, all right, we made it through two days. Didn't earn much money, but I didn't have much of anything to really do, so. All right. Oh, please don't let anybody stop by today. 
It's kind of part of the tutorial, the, the first few days people stop by. Oh, it's raining today. Our bridge is done. Yay, we can get over to the next area, which is so much bigger. So much bigger. I like to eventually, when I start decorating and really getting our, our level up on everything, we don't have to water today, which is awesome. Um... You can't let your animals out in the rain. It will not let you. But once I had to start decorating... Oh. Hey, baby. Oh, nice. Level two. Livestock breeder. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you want to make sure you pet them every day. So, um, we need to go over here. Oh, first of all, let's go get our planks so we can make our storage. We desperately need storage. Um, yeah. We, we almost can make another one, so that will be good. So you craft it and it puts up right in your inventory, so we just gotta figure out where we wanna put it. Um, I usually kinda put it right here to start off. You can eventually move your storage around, however, you have to take everything out of it in order to move it, which is a pain. But it's better than nothing. We wanna keep this stuff. I don't like to keep them all in the same storage, but for now we're going to because, um, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's sell that egg while we're at it. Um, we actually, yeah, let's go see what we're going to need for the barn. And you'll find different, there's the cow, but we need to build the barn first. So let's see what we need for the barn. <coughs> we need 10 solid lumber. So... On our little section of the farm, you can only make lumber, regular lumber. This is some solid lumber, so it's a different tree. You need 10 iron ingots, which is going to take a while to get, because we don't even have enough iron ore right now. Um, and flexible grass, which is a different kind of grass only in this area. So, yeah. But the kind of wood that we need is right here. I think. Um, that just says logs. Is that the same kind that we had before? Okay, so that might not be the right kind. Um, usually the trees look different. I think it's this one. You can see the leaves on the trees look different and see it's harder to chop. It takes more effort. I think this is the solid one. Yep, solid log. That's what we need. Mm. However, we need to chop this as well because we need more logs. Oh my gosh. We need more logs because we need to make another lumber machine. That way you can do more than one kind of lumber if you have more than one machine. That's why you want more than one machine. When this game first released, until they made some updates, and it took quite a while, um, you could only do one lumber at a time. So, um, it wasn't until they updated the machines to make that you could even insert more than one at a time, or make more than one at a time. You could make up to ten. Um... Oh, you need 20. Okay, that's cool. We can get some while we're right here, actually. Okay, we 
we should have enough to make another machine. And we do. So that should be in our inventory. Oh, it was like that. And yeah, there's places that you cannot put them too close to the back there. So I just kind of set them in order, so to speak. So we want to take our solid logs and we want to get them started. I only can only make one at a time because it takes three to make one. I'm just saying. It's a lot of work, but it's fun work, you guys. Especially if you've never played the game before. It's fun, fun, fun. It gets a little tedious after a while, uh, just like any farming game. Oh, I gotta get more of this. Oh, I gotta get more of that to be able to do this, to be able to do that. I mean, it's the same thing. But especially when you first start for a long time, it's so much fun to explore and craft things. And when you get to start really decorating your island or your farm, it is so much fun. Things do not fit exactly the way you would like them to. I'll just tell you up front. They don't. But they're still pretty. It still turns out really well. <clears throat> we'll probably use both machines just to do solid for a while. So that we can get more lumber faster. Yeah, it does take more energy until you level up. Did I level up to where I can hold it yet? No. I know, you're not going to pass out yet. Not yet. Close. Close, but not yet. When I first started playing that game, she'd say that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to stop. But you can go a little bit longer. Not extremely, but you, you'll know. You'll learn your limitations. So that is flexible grass, which is what we need. And yes, it does take energy to just even do the cutting. So you still have to watch your heart. Um, we're just going to see what else is around here. Yeah, I know. We're not there yet. You want to get some of these flowers. Oh, we leveled up. That's awesome. Yeah, there's different things that you can forge in different areas. So you want to make sure you get whatever is in any area. There's sage for cooking. And then there's this area, which you can't repair. This is going to take a lot, you guys. It's a 50 solid lumber, 20 silver ingots and mortar mortar which we can't even we can't even do yet we can't even do that yet okay yes she does make a funny noise i know <laughs> got some mushrooms some sashimi mushrooms. Here's the next mine. I'm not even going to attempt to break a rock because I'm going to tell you right now, it takes a long time. Pink cat flower, which you need to keep. Um, you want to keep those. So yeah, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot today. It, I fully expect it to take a few days. There's some more mushrooms. I fully take it... I fully say it's going to take quite a few days to um, restore the barn just because it takes so many materials. Now this is um, how you can craft mushrooms or how you can harvest. You can seed and harvest mushrooms. You'll have to use this. You can buy more in town of these mushroom logs for lack of what they're called. Um, but yeah, you need clay, you need flux. It's again, a lot of materials. 
but it is something that you can repair and you get at least one free like that. Um, Cursor, why do you hate me so much? Why, why do you hate me? So, yeah. Isn't the cow cute, though? The cow is adorable. It's like big, fluffy, fluffy cow. Fluffy cow. So, yeah, let's go, um... Let's go... We got 15 strawberries we can, um... We got my, we're going to go ahead and get the mushrooms. Um, we're going to keep the flowers. You know, I probably should have given one flower. Um, oh, we can split. Um, split up. I just want one to go over there, okay? Um, I just want... Oh, I just have one. Uh-huh. Um, I just want one to go. Uh, yeah, I'll just, let's just do one. Pink cat flower. I really don't want to give that one up because those only are out in spring. Let's see if, um, what's his name? Nigel is open today. And what it takes to do a backpack upgrade. Oh. Getting the hang of things here in all of town. I realize we may not have as many conveniences compared to the big city, but we get there. But we get by here well enough. Okay. We all work together to build this place into what it is today, and we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but... Chocopo, what on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work on the ferry, are we? No, Dad, it's cool. We don't have many tourists headed in today. So I took care of cleaning duty in no time flat. So that's why you're back so early? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, pretty much. I figured I'd run and take um, a shower before Captain George gives me my next assignment. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> he looks defeated. And that, you see, is one of our troubles. We lack tourism. I'm not saying that Olive Town has to be a top resort spot by any means, but I'd like it to be a tiny out oasis that tourists can enjoy. That's where you come in, Riley. You were raised in the big city, weren't you? Could I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we should do to grab the attention of the city folk? Um... Develop the town with the latest tech. Offer a break from the hustle and bustle. Yeah. We can certainly do that from for them here. Folks from the big city are always rushing around. They need a good break now and now and then. Oh my gosh, you're talking too long. Oh yeah, we want them to relax. That was quick. <clears throat> Maybe I'll sneak in a cafe trip and take the rest of the day off. Oh my gosh. For the love of, please go work. Oh, that was funny. Okay, can I just get where I was going now, please? Thank you very much. Hello. Nigel! Oh, that's buying facilities. I clicked way too fast. So you can buy another well. You can buy a coop. Um, okay, so develop farm. Okay. Um, expand house. How, let's see what it is to expand the house. We only need 20 wood. We only need 20 wood to expand a house. You guys, we're totally doing that the next time. Um, that's not what I want. Develop farm facilities. Big coop. Um, okay, I thought he did backpack upgrades. Maybe that's not him. I could have sworn. Or maybe we have to be at a higher level. That doesn't make sense. Let's see what this is. They upgrade your tools and stuff, so maybe they upgrade your backpack. Hey. Yeah, upgrade backpack. Okay, here we go. Only 3,000, we're doing it. Oh, okay. Because we only need 2,000 for, um, 
We only need 2,000 to upgrade into a house. So we're going to do that on the next episode for sure. For sure, for sure. All right. Now to upgrade your house, once you get your house, that's a lot more resources and money. But to do it the first time, it's only 20 logs and 2,000 bucks. So you guys were definitely going to do that. Um, so awesome. Okay. Well, you guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you're enjoying all of uh, Pioneers of Olive Town. Um, if you haven't played this game, you might check on your Switch um, eShop. I don't know what it's selling for nowadays. They may have lowered it because it's been out for quite a while. But it is one of the funnest Harvest Moon games that they've come out with, I feel like. Um, and we're just kind of doing this to kind of bide our time. The It's a Wonderful Life remake doesn't come out till June. So I just thought, well, we'll start a playthrough of Pioneers of Olive Town for now. And kind of get the momentum going, right? Getting the feelings um, going and stuff. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And hit that like button, show the video some loving, and until next time, I'll see you soon.